When I set off to walk over 180 miles in two weeks to raise money for the charity Help Musicians, I knew I would need some form of impetus every night to keep me going. And I was amazed at the response from some brilliant folk artists. Every night they came and played and sang for me in the pub to put some energy back into my tired legs when I'd done 14 or so miles. And it was just such a wonderful feeling to know that they were supporting me as I was supporting them. So I thought you might like to share some of those pub sessions. And we put together a compilation of 16 of the songs and tunes that they played for me in the pub along the big walk. I hope you enjoy it. What joy it is that we are here in the garden of the Thomas Lord pub with Rosie Hodgson and Rowan Piggott of the Wilderness Yet. Welcome, thank you for coming. So what are you going to sing and play for us here in the garden? Well, we thought we might sing one of the Songhive songs. Uh, This is a Kipling song set to music by Peter Bellamy, as so many of Kipling's poems are. And it's sort of one of the first songs that Rowan used to start the Songhive project which is a project that supported the Bee Cause, um, which are Friends of the Earth campaign to raise awareness for the plight of the native bees. So, the Bee Boy song from Puka Puka. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that. We'll do a, a folk song from Wales. It's in D as well. Okay, rock and roll. Folk song from the Welsh valleys. Thank you. 
Wake up your coffee and juice. Knightley, Johnny Kelsey, Eliza Marshall, thank you very much indeed. There is a select group of us gathered together in the Winchfield Inn. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> and Eliza has set up her loop pedal and is ready to go. So, Eliza, what are you going to play for us? Well, I'm going to play... There's a big project, which is why we met, that I, I kind of ran and curated and is ongoing, called Freedom to Roam. And this is a piece called The Rhythms of Migration. Normally you'd have tabla, violins, lots of other instruments involved, harp, um, but obviously I've got a loop pedal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eliza Marshall. Thank you. And that was after walking 15 miles. She played that well. So thank you so much, Eliza. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome to the stage Mr John Wilkes. Um, I'll play you... This is a little bit of a long one. It's one of my own. It's not really suited to the countryside because it's quite a. It's set in Soho. Well, I think that's okay. Maybe the only folk song you ever hear with the word Lewisham in it. <laughs> but I think that's alright. Lewisham is a place too. Deserves to have a song. It's called Greek Street. Of a Soho morning in shades of dirty grey at 6 a.m. Well, I've stumbled once more into the day. The streets in need of hosing down to wash away the gloom. And I was 19 years of age, the time has gone so soon. Twas there I spied a maiden with glitter in her hair. And it fell in shards of crimson And it split the morning air She's teetered on her platform heel And scaffolded my mind Me without a hard hat on Just begging to be fine And I would recommend And I'd write it in a song Night that ends on Greek Street With the rising of the sun To anybody young Well, she took her name from winter No Robin went without And she's fluttered on the petrol breeze As Neon picked her out The soul of Cambridge Circus a Phoenix from the frost Before I knew what had begun I had already lost So she took a bus to Lewisham Where her mama had a place And against the kitchen sideboard I kissed her on the face Then on a Swedish packing bed I kissed her naked breast And it wasn't till the midnight moon We stopped to take a rest Yes, I would recommend And I'd write it in a song The night that ends on Greek Street with the rising of the sun to anybody young.
Well, it's strange what I remember. It's strange what I recall. I don't remember conversations. I don't remember words at all. I remember trips to Brighton, wrapped warm against the cold. I remember thinking time had stopped and we weren't growing old Well that's the wonder of the transient A sense of life alive It's the magic of the twilight stars And fingers intertwine Then fingers then unraveled And distance in the sheets And distance in the way she's gazed Way back on down the street Yes, I would recommend And I'd write it in a song A night that ends on Greek Street With the rising of the sun To anybody Well, she's lingered in the summer months, my winter made of me And on those Soho evenings, well, I've loved her tenderly But by the time the autumn came, her eye began to roam And I've wandered back to Lewisham, all long in and alone So she's took a Swedish packing bed for some other blade to game and I've tried my best to blame her But the blame it never came Cause she was but eighteen years of age And barely in her blue That one sweet misty morning On old Greek street in the gloom Yes, I would recommend And I'd write it in a song Night that ends on Greek Street With the rising of the sun To anybody young We are gathered here together in the Royal Foresters in Ascot. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really pleased to say that Martin Simpson's here, which is always a joy. Martin, thanks so much for coming. It's a total pleasure. I'm so pleased to be here. Congratulations. On uh, the, well, on the feet. On the feet. <laughs> 14 miles today. And Debbie Norris from Ballet Focus here is a special guest appearance that, that you brought a dancer uh, to join us. Who, who is the dancer? Yeah, so we've brought Anna Smith, who has been dancing with us recently in various festivals and our performances, and we're really delighted to be able to share a little pop-up improvisation this evening with one of Martin's tracks. It's really great to be here. This song I was asked to write, I was asked to write it by Chris Packham, and when Chris Packham <laughs> asked you to write a song... You know, you might think about it for 0.2 of a second or something like that. So this is a song about, um, about hen harriers. And hen harriers live on the moors up near me, but they don't live in as many numbers as they should on the moors near me, or indeed anywhere where there are grouse moors, because despite the fact that they're a red-listed endangered species... The people who own grouse moors uh, employ gamekeepers to shoot them and poison them and trap them, and it's, uh, it's an obscenity, really. And I'm really delighted to say that I have somebody to dance while I play this song. Um, I actually have had quite a lot of my music used by, uh, by Christopher Bruce and Mark Bruce from Ballet Rombert. 
which is in incredibly flattering. So I am immensely delighted to be playing this song and have and have you dancing. Thank you so much. So this is Sky Dancers. Constellation shine among the blooming heatherling and the jade green berry bushes. The oak eggers are on the way. The stone chats and the pipits fly, and spring lap wings and curlews cry. But there is something missing, there are no dancers in the sky. And the bird completes the skyline. That is clear to see An empty sky's a heart breaks So what is it to be? The pale ash grey sky dancer Or this cruel tyranny? At fifteen I saw the falcon fly At Simmons' yacht on the river Why? Scarce and unexpected then Red treasure in the sky Mid Wales fifty years ago, the red kite's beauty lit the snow. Now I might see them every day. The falcon on the city cliffs, red kite by the motorway, and the bird completes the skyline. That is clear to see. An empty sky's a heart break. So what is it to be? The early astans or this? The heathland it is burning up above the valley town The greedy flame consumes the peat So when the rain comes down It pours across the moorlands wreck And overwhelms the stream and beckon Bursts the banks of stream and beckon Floods the town again and the bird completes the skyline That is clear to see An empty sky's a heart break So what is it to be? This life-supporting landscape Or this brutal tyranny? To see an empty sky's a heartbreak, so what is it to be? The pale ash grey sky dancer, or this wasteful cruelty? Martin's playing. What a beautiful sight that was, wasn't it, Martin? Fabulous. Actually, it did make me forget a couple of lines. I was like, <laughs> but we Be distracted. I think we got away with it. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. We've decided to stick with songs today that are mostly outdoorsy, nature-themed songs. This one's particularly apt. It's called "As I Roved Out." We 
uh, decided that not enough people rove nowadays. I've been roving all day. Well, what are you yeah. talking about? Most You're people, a rover. Most people call it rambling. Um, <laughs> I feel like the word rove is not... Uh, no, I think we should we should reclaim the word rove. I think we should bring it back. I'm yeah. definitely on, on a big yeah. rove. Yeah, <laughs> a great rove. Um, um, so this, yeah, this is as I roved out. We got this from uh, from Paddy Tunney, um, and I think he got it from his mum, Bridget Tunney, and uh, she got it from her mum. So it's kind of travelled down the family a little bit. As I roved out on a bright May morning. To view the meadows and flowers gay Who should I spy but my own true love As she sat under your clever tree I took off my hands and I did salute I did salute her courageously When she turned around Well, the tears fell from her Saying, false young man You've A diamond Fortune pulls, no man can show it. I was blindfolded on every night. Now the nights when I go to my bed of slumber. Thoughts of my true love lie in my mind When I turn around to embrace my darling Instead of gold, it's price I From the West Indies, America and Spain And every man to his wedded true In hopes that you and I will meet again In hopes that you and I will meet again Dennis Burns and John Doran, ladies and gentlemen. As I went out walking one midsummer's morn, and the fields and the meadows were covered in corn, and the blackbirds and thrushes sang from every greenwood tree, and the larks they sang melodious bit low at the dawning of day and the larks they sang melodious 
And the larks, they sang melodious. And the larks, they sang melodious at the dawning of day. Beautiful. Well, a sailor and his true love were walking that day. Said the sailor to his true love, I'm bound far away. I am bound for the Indies, where the loud cannons roar. I must go and leave you, Nancy, the girl I adore. I must go and leave you, Nancy. I must go and leave you, Nancy. I must go and leave you, Nancy. You're the girl I adore. Then the ring from off her finger she instantly drew, saying, Take this, dearest William, and my heart will go too. And as she embraced him, tears from her eyes did fall, saying, May I go along with you? Nay, Nancy, farewell, saying, May I go along with you? Saying, May I go along with you? Saying, May I go along with you? Nay, Nancy, farewell. Said the sailor to his true love, I must go away. For the top sail is hoisted and the anchor's away. And my ship, she is waiting for the next coming tide. And if ever I return again, I will make you my bride. And if ever I return again, and if ever I return again, and if ever I return again, I will make you my bride. And the larks, they sang melodious. And the larks, they sang melodious. And the larks, they sang melodious. At the dawning of day. Kirsty Merrin. That was wonderful. Well, this is a scene. It's the morning, and I'm in the beef eater, Brickett Wood, and I'm with uh, Honey and the Bear and Toby, and they're uh, here in front of the most amazing mill wheel. Okay, so this is Around the World, and uh, a song inspired by Dame Ellen MacArthur and her solo voyage around the world in 2005. Heart is racing Thank you. 
The scene is the practitioner bar in 4th Street, Hartford. A small and select but beautiful audience has gathered. If Are you here? Make yourself <laughs> proud. If, yeah. if, if a bit sweaty. Yeah, if a bit sweaty. <laughs> to listen to Megson. And finally. And finally. There's a man from Boston Spa who went to wash his car. But the queue went on so far, he got a parking fine. And finally, there's a woman from King's Lynn whose horse had got so thin that she won a prize for dogs at the country fair. Well, every day there's an argument a problem in the Parliament and all we keep on seeing is these people disagreeing with each other and another. Will we ever quite discover what they mean? And finally, there's a little girl from Hull who dropped a sausage roll. Then the council made a go to court for littering. And finally, there's an old man from North Ants who went out in just his pants and then used two spider plants to scare off burglars. Every day there's an argument a problem in the Parliament and all we keep on seeing is these people disagreeing with each other, then another. Will we ever quite discover what they mean? There is such wonder out across the Milky Way, but by far the strangest things they could happen. Any day. Ooh. 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 And finally, there's a man from Notting Hill. Call the local bill to say he'd found a dead man in a graveyard. And finally, there's a woman from Henlow who ran a psychic show but had to cancel due to circumstances unforeseen. Well, every day there's an argument. A problem in the Parliament and all we keep on seeing is these people disagreeing with each other, then another. Will we ever quite discover what they mean? Well, every day there's an argument, a problem in the Parliament and all we keep on seeing is these people Disagreeing with each other, then another. Will we ever quite discover what they mean? What do they mean? What do they mean? Thank you. Here we are in the wonderful Prince of Wales pub in Green Tie, and I'm really pleased to say that I've been joined by Sid Goldsmith and Danny Pedler of Taran. So this is a song called Sunk, and it's very new. So It's very new. This will be the first time it's ever been played outside of, of one of our houses. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see how we get on, won't we? Um, yeah. Um, thanks for coming and listening, folks. It's really nice to, nice to have some, some friends here. This is great, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nothing quite 
white hits you like how the hills start to wane. Marital tract and sky wide and welcome. Embrace the meaning of home in full its form. Wind and water and soil that sustained you. Close. These tree boughs weave round You sunk into the ground One hour or two forty fives to connect Waves reflecting the smiles Ten songs or less Give your voices Clap your hands out of time Head home and we are gone at the last time The dirt of the road clings too tight to shake off To the land that we know The curves of Goldsmith and Danny Pedler of Taran. That was absolutely beautiful. Here we are in the Swan in Great Eastern with an amazing group of people gathered together. Let's hear you. (laughs) 
And we've got Bird in the Belly with us. Laura and Tom and Adam and Ben are sitting in the corner over here ready to play. I'll let you play your music. We'll survive on our own Why shouldn't the lasses make cash of their own? driving down in fact I uh, found myself feeling quite uh, peaceful because I was surrounded by these amazing big skies again so I, I grew up on the east coast um, Matthew and I went for a walk just um, near where I used to live and where I grew up spent about 20 years of my life living just by the coast near Hull and uh, the water on the coastline there really kind of shapes the landscape but it also really shapes the people who live there as well and um, I really miss it so it's a kind of celebration of that place really. The 
edge of the lamp. do one more for you now um, this is uh, a tune a, con- a contemporary tune written by a fantastic folkie called Nigel Eaton who's an amazing hurdy-gurdy player and a really good tunesmith as well and it's, it's just called the Holsey Shottish
Two wonderful musicians in perfect harmony, Peter Knight and John Spires. Thank you so much. Thank you very well. Give them a big hand. Thank you. Come on, come on. <laughs> song. Sorry, Matthew, you're right by the microphone. Everyone will know if you don't join in. <laughs> Everyone will know if I do join in. That'll be the worst. <laughs> um, it's a Peak District song. I feel a bit Peak District down to Suffolk. Uh, so this song is from the books, uh, sorry, the Ballads and Songs of Derbyshire book, uh, published in 18-something, 1867. Uh, by somebody who maybe hadn't travelled to the Lake District, I don't know, but uh, we love it. It's the uh, Rhapsody on the Peak of Derbyshire, and it has the chorus, Bring me, give me, see if I can remember before we start, Give me the land where the purple heather, the thyme and bilberry grow together. It goes like this. Give me the land where the purple heather, the thyme and bilberry grow together. Give me the land where the purple heather, the thyme and bilberry grow together. Very nice.
It's day 14 wow. of the big walk. Hundred and seventy seven miles since August the fourth, and fourteen of them today, and here we are in the duck in Campsey Ash with a select bunch of people crammed in <laughs> si- sitting room only for the young uns who are here, which is absolutely fantastic. Sean and Michael and David, welcome. Thank, Thank you for being here. Oh, it's our our pleasure, Matthew. No, we're really uh, you know, uh, in awe of what you've been doing, so it's been great to join you. Well it's it's lovely to have you and um your patrons of Folk East, and you know I've never been to Folk East before, and I'm so excited about going because everybody along the way has told me what a wonderful festival it is. Tell us about Folk East and why it's so good. Um, it feels like a big, uh, like one big family, really. It's 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 like, it's almost like a almost like a village fete, but on a on a on a kind of raised 100. Um, percent Help me out here, Michael. No, no, uh, I'm just, so. really, just looking over at Becky. She was devastated. Yeah. That. I mean, I That's Becky we... who runs uh, runs Folkies. No, she's she's no, absolutely I... gutted because these are the people who are the cheapskates who, who think, well, they can just see the young and suffering. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking um, away from the revenue, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll do both. And, it, and you're meant to be supporting musicians. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to stand out of the way. I'm going to record you. I'm just going to let you sing for us. It's so wonderful to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, the young'uns. All right, then. Shall we, uh, shall we sing a song about walking? Yeah, well, Matthew, on this incredible journey he's been taking on, uh, he's been doing recently, was telling us just at the bar there that he'd been thinking a lot about uh, the three dads who walk, the three dads walking, Andy, Mike and Tim who found each other a few years ago in in the depths of despair that they shared between them because they each lost a daughter to suicide. And Andy, Mike and Tim had no idea at the time that it's the biggest killer of young people in the country. Um, and so they thought about what, what they wanted to do. They wanted, they wanted to talk about this. They wanted to share their experiences. And, and they had the idea that they'd start walking. And everywhere they go, they attract people. People come and join them and walk with them and share and talk about it. And um, we wrote them a song, Three Dads Walking, and we'd love you to sing with us if you want to. Um, The chorus is, From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again, we will walk and talk like men, three dads walking on. Mm. My dad's boots are old and worn, my dad's face is tired and drawn, Oh, my dad's feet will meet the dawn, my dad's walking on. My dad's cheeks are red and raw, my dad's legs are bruised and sore. But my dad's feet can take some more, my dad's walking on. From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again. We will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. My dad's world was torn in two. No words can hold the pain he knew. But there was one thing he could do. So my dad's walking on. My dad speaks of all his pain. So all the dads might do the same. My dad will not be ashamed. My dad's walking on. From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen, 300 miles and back again, we will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. My dad's holding all the while A picture from a simpler time A daughter with an endless smile My dad's walking on Three birds singing in the dell If he had known, if he could tell If he'd have caught her as she fell My dad's walking on From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen, 
300 miles and back again. We will cry and cry like men. Three ducks walking on. There's a storm high on cross fell. Deep within the whirring swell. There's a time for love to dwell. My dad's walking on. The morning sun will melt the snow. The mountain rise, the river flow. And there are miles and miles to go. My dad's walking on. From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen. 300 miles and back again. We will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. From Lakeland Hill to Eastern Fen. 300 miles and back again. We will walk and talk like men. Three dads walking on. Walking on, three dads walking on. Oh, and I think we've got time for one more before you've got to set off when you walk again, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready now. Thank you ever so much for listening, in particularly to that song. And, and if you want to know more about the dads and the charity they support, Papyrus is the name of the charity, that the prevention of young suicide. And uh, the dads are just completely inspirational. And we we joined them on their latest walk when they were walking between the four parliaments of the UK with a petition to put suicide prevention on the school curriculum. And, and everywhere they go, the people are attracted to them, they're drawn to them, and they uh, and they share stories often for the very first time. Um, but um, we're on the eve of, uh, of our favourite festival, of course, here in Suffolk. Uh, Is it sure me already? So is there something we can oh, sing them on the way back to... I think so. A big chorus on. one. Uh, a, a song that we... One of the so- first songs we learned to sing together uh, 20 years ago. And uh, we've had... Uh, hands, we've had feet, this is balls now. <laughs> <laughs> a one ball, sing John Ball. One ball. <laughs> <laughs> one, one ball. <laughs> they only got, got one ball, yeah. <laughs> well, walk, walking can't change. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> remember you're a one ball. Anyway, <laughs> we'll do that one. Oh, okay, so oh, we're going to yeah. sing Quick John Ball. Quick shake your bucket, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Now falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, join in with this one. <laughs> who will be the lady, who will be the lord? When we are ruled by the love of one another, who will be the lady, who will be the lord? In the light that is coming in the morning. So sing John Ball and tell it to them all. And long live the day that is coming out for all. I'll carol like a lark in the light that is coming in the morning. Eve is the lady and Adam is the Lord. When we are ruled by the love of one another, Eve is the lady and Adam is the Lord in the light that is coming in the morning. So sing John Ball and tell it to them all. And long live the day that is dawning. I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark in the light that is coming in the morning. All shall be ruled by fellowship, I say. When we are ruled by the love of one another, all shall be ruled by fellowship, I say. In the light that is coming in the morning oh, Sing John Ball and tell it to them all And long live the day that is dawning I'll crow like a cock, I'll carol like a lark In the light that is coming in the morning Labour and spin for fellowship 
by say, Labor and strain for the Lord. The light that is coming in the morning. Oh, sing John Ball and tell it to them all. And long live the day that is coming. I'll roll like a clock, I'll carol like a lark in the light that is coming in the morning. Those were the musicians who came to support me as I was supporting them through the Big Walk 2023, raising money for the charity Help Musicians, which does such vital work to support musicians when they get into difficulties. If you've enjoyed this music and you'd like to support the charity, please go to folkonfoot.com slash bigwalk and make a donation. And if you'd like to support the podcast itself, we rely entirely on our listeners to keep going. So do go to folkonfoot.com slash support us, where you can either become a patron of the podcast and get great rewards or simply buy us a coffee. We love musicians. We know you love music and musicians, and we love to have your support. <laughs> 